What? Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be breaking down the official first look at Ruby Rose as Batwoman in this year's crossover. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos as we head towards the new season. So The Flash actually is premiering tonight which is very exciting so my review will be out tomorrow and also my trailer breakdown for episode 2 which is very very exciting but we've got even more exciting news and that is that we've got our first look at Ruby Rose as Batwoman so as you know she was cast a few months ago and you know it caused a bit of controversy because a lot of people do like her but then a lot of people aren't that impressed with her works including myself I'm not a big fan of her works that she's done so far like I've said since the moment she was cast I'm always open for interpretation and if you guys aren't a fan of her works just be open and let's see how she is as Batwoman. For all I know she could be an amazing Batwoman so I'm open to this and this poster convinces me even more. This is an awesome poster. So we get our first look at Ruby Rose as Batwoman supposedly in Gotham City due to the fact that her bat signal is actually in the air and you can see in the background there is a Wayne Company logo on a building so perhaps this is their main building maybe that's just an easter egg or maybe we'll actually visit that sometime in the crossover but we need to break down this suit this suit looks awesome so I'm very very happy this is extremely comic book accurate and the one thing I'm most happy about when I first saw this was the hair the hair looks brilliant this is exactly the Batwoman we know from the comics and this excites me so much because I love her in the comics and I also love her animated films that she's been in. She's been in quite a lot recently and that really excites me because this is an amazing first look and so going over her costume like I said the cow is awesome the cow looks perfect and the suit seems to be like a hybrid between like a Dark Knight suit and a more CW sort of fabric made suit which is very exciting because I think the change in texture all over her costume is what makes it appeal more and what makes it pop a little bit more than just a plain costume and I think potentially that's what the Flash's suit this year has got wrong potentially that it's all just one material and you know I think the mix actually varies it and it looks like a really cool costume right here and the cape is awesome you can see it's got spreckles of red and purple and black and obviously it's just this nice little mix between her main color schemes and yeah so moving on to the arms you can see she's got her gauntlets she's got gloves you know the arms are just very nice it's very similar throughout the entire costume as you go down to the chest you get to see the bat signal and that is the Batwoman version of it and it looks awesome you know no complaints at all with this costume the belt is the only thing that I've seen people complaining about but I think that's just the way you're seeing it right now it looks like it's just been tilted over no complaints there looks really cool goes with the color scheme and down to the legs you get to see she's wearing some boots and they're just normal boots but yes overall what an amazing poster what a great way to convince me and convince other people that weren't so convinced at the start when we saw the casting with this amazing poster so like I said I'm really looking forward to Batwoman because I'm a big Batwoman fan I just want this character to be played well by Ruby Rose and I'm sure she will and I'm open for everything and I'm just so excited to see this and so this is our like second proper look into the crossover obviously they're going to start doing crossover work very soon I think they're currently working on it they've got all the scripts done and Ruby actually popped over to Vancouver for just one day according to some sources and then she flew back to LA most likely she's going to come back very soon when they start properly getting into that crossover part of recording so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching before we end this video if you could subscribe and turn on notifications that would mean a whole lot to me also check out my movie podcast that I do every week that is in the description below please be sure to subscribe there because I talk about films every week I love talking about films 
and also subscribe to my film channel because I'm going to be posting lots of videos there. I haven't posted in a few weeks, but that's because I've been busy writing my own film script. If you guys would be excited to see, I will probably upload like a trailer and then eventually get around to posting the full film when it's all ready. But right now, I'm still in pre-production, you know, writing the scripts and getting casting and things like that for my own little film. So thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Sweet, tongue tied to service like shark breed.